This question a little bit unusual, but nevertheless, it's on the NBME exams. We see our answer choices, a bunch of different viruses and their respective nucleic acids. We have to choose the appropriate combination in addition to the virus. And we have uh, this 31-year-old woman who's undergoing chemo for AML, so we know she's going to be immunocompromised. And she has a fever, she has tachypnea, and we have a chest x-ray showing us extensive nodular infiltrates in both lungs as we explicate here in the vignette. And she also has a generalized vesicular rash. So this question I say is slightly unusual. This is not going to be a long clip, okay? I'm not going to waste your fucking time right now. The reason this is a value point is because this is actually varicella pneumonia, okay? And that's slightly unusual, right? So some of you watching this are like, wait, what the fuck? Really? Like varicella, chicken pox? Like you can get pneumonia with that? Yes, okay, so if this is the first time you're hearing it, there you go. Uh, classically in adults and those who are immunocompromised and sometimes pregnant women, and it can present with a characteristic nodularity on chest X-ray. USMLE doesn't expect you to know pedantic uh, chest X-ray findings such as varicella. That's why uh, we explicated it here in the vignette. Uh, but nevertheless, this is varicella pneumonia, and it's a rare complication of disseminated varicella okay so we have the vesicular rash would be quite unusual to have a scenario where you have varicella pneumonia in primary varicella but yet you don't have actual skin findings right so uh, the literature will mention disseminated varicella vesicular lesions but you can get a pneumonia with that and that's simply going to be a dna virus so varicella is part of herpes viridae uh, which is dna and it's going to be uh, enveloped and linear. All right. Now we can do a long discussion of all the microbiology, all the details. Okay. But we're going to keep this concise. Varicella chickenpox can sometimes be described as crops of vesicles at various stages of healing. Okay. Nothing crazy, but that can confuse some students because they're like, wait, what is that actually referring to? Crops of vesicles at various stages of healing. Obviously, varicella will go on to cause shingles. All right. Shingles is also known as herpes zoster. Herpes zoster is not a virus. Herpes zoster is just another name for shingles, okay? So cytomegalovirus, also herpes viridae, that's a HHV5, so that's going to be a DNA. Epstein var virus is DNA, that's HHV4. Varicella, our correct answer, is HHV3. Uh, rubella, that's going to be RNA. And uh, yeah, that's actually, that's it. So that's our question here, okay? So uh, nothing radical, nothing complicated, but short value point for you that varicella can cause pneumonia, and it's on the NBMEs. So if you liked this clip, subscribe to my channel, and I appreciate your time.